You want to get rich with me? Let's get rich because the amount of money in commercials and brand videos is insurmountable. And insurmountable is a word that has a definition. That's why I made a spec ad that usually costs upwards of at least $20,000 to make for the low, low price of $0. For the water in a can company, liquid death. These guys have made a water company badass. Their slogan is murder your thirst and they've got some unique branding and social media presence. So I made a pretty commercial to show off my technical skills, but I wanted to make the spot take a bit of a left turn, you'll see. And you could make a spec ad too and get hired and be rich and buy a Lambo and snort coke off of hookers ass. Hey, I just want to pop in here real quick, and as I look back at this, I realize I sound really pretentious and act like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. I have been doing video production for a while, but I'm only like two years into 3D, and so I'm, I'm really an idiot when it comes to this stuff. But I guess I just wanted to show how not difficult this could be in some ways, and also hopefully create something unique and show others that you can create something unique with this incredible free software called Blender. First, you're gonna to wanna to get your product of choice in 3D. You can model it off of reference imagery. Use files that the company gave you right after that million dollar check you would just hand it or potentially even photo scan it. In my case, I just needed a tall can and I found a great model off of BlendSwap. I took the 3D model and projected this reference image onto the geometry. You can see I'm missing some of the extra bits of the info on the sides, but yeah, it's a spec ad. Liquid death, you knew I'd do you right if it came down to it. I created metallic silver and gold materials for the rest of the textures and added the holy grail of any beautiful beverage product shot, con. Condensation. Because drinks just look better. Wet. Oh yeah, dripping. So I used a few Igosphere squash flat and skewed with variations using my tears after therapy as reference and used a hair particle system with a ton of these little bad boys and we got condensation. For the first scene, I wanted to create something that looked elegant and refreshing. I used an emissive plane using a photo I found on Unsplash. When it's out of focus, you can't even tell that it's not real, and if you can, shut up. shut up! Next, I wanted to create a cooler of ice. I created a cube, stretched it out, inset it, and made it look like a cooler shape, you know? I filled it with a bunch of these rigid body, rectangle-ish cubes with a glossy and translucent shader, and we got ice, ice, baby! I used an HDRI and an area light to create a strong key and a nice rim light highlighting the back of the can. Oh my god, it's beautiful! All right, I've been saying this whole time that the can is the product, but in reality, the water is the product. So I knew I was gonna have to make water and fluid simulations are not the thing I wanna do. So I made a cylinder, stuck it in the mouth of the can and created two particle systems. One with icospheres to be used as tiny bubbles and another using Mark Zuckerberg's patent pending metaballs. If you throw a ton of them into an emitter particle system thing, give it a clearish glossy texture, it kinda almost looks like water. So I added a shape key to the can and animated being able to pop open and I created my shot. The entire shot is all just using a pretty still as an HDRI. I'm a cheater. For the camera, I cranked down that f-stop for that sweet, sweet shallow depth of field and used an empty for focus. With that same empty, I used an object constraint on the camera telling it to always look at the empty and he happily obliged. With a bezier circle and a clamp to object constraint on the camera, you can make the camera do loop-de-loops. For the last shot of the ad, I wanted to create a stunning but odd final image, so I went with the liquid death can emerging from black viscous liquid. I used ferrofluid and some old cult sacrificing event videotapes we don't really need to talk about as reference and made this glossy black plane and used it as a dynamic paint canvas. The can was the brush. After creating my black goo texture, I then used more, you guessed it, metal balls to create two new particle systems. One that's stripping off the can and another that's technically a hair particle system with the length slowly scaling down to give it a look of gunk sticking to the can. I've got the scene surrounded by area lights that gleam off the side of the waves and off the side of the particles creating these perfect white halos. Oh, baby. So with all that set up, my f-stop very, very low. Once again, this easily became one of my favorite shots of the ad. After finishing up all the shots, I brought them into After Effects to add some color, some film grain, and some chromatic aberration, you know, because lenses do that or whatever. In Premiere, I laid out my ad, chose some music, did a shit ton of sound design stuff. Honestly, I'll be talking about that in the future video. I added some weird voiceover, and here is the final product. Beneath the Earth's crust, far from any municipal city water sources, our water is freshly tapped and purified amongst the mountains. Water shouldn't just taste great. It should also murder your thirst. 
Oh yeah, I also made a Dementor slash Deathlike character and cut off a dude's head. But like I said, I wanted to... Yeah, hey, how's it going? If you'd like to learn how to cut off a head and blender like I did in this commercial, subscribe. I'll be talking about it in a later video. Thank you! Kissy, kissy!